Luxus Dragnet. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now we're going to have part 3 of this off-brand anime that I continue, and if you guys want to know the previous part, check out my channel, and you guys will see the first and second parts of this off-brand anime. Without further ado, let's get started. While Shirasawa was still working and her senpai tried to tease her, he couldn't focus on her work because of her senpai, but the nurse suddenly came and asked if Shirasawa was here, but when she looked at them, she started to blush and asked them what they were doing. So her senpai suddenly started to tease the nurse and said that they were working, but Shirasawa suddenly rushed toward the nurse and took the nurse on the bed. Damn! And then she started to rub the nurse's breast, but the nurse couldn't resist her senpai because she was on her top, so she couldn't move her body. Uh. And while she was having fun teasing the nurse, Shirasawa suddenly heard someone calling on the phone, so he picked up and then called her senpai, saying that they called him, so her senpai knew who called her, so she had no choice but to pick up. So after she got up, the nurse finally free from him. And so Shirasawa asked the nurse what he could do for her, but the nurse was kind of hesitating to tell Shirasawa what she wanted to tell her and said that she would tell him later. So later on, the nurse told him that her senpai was about to get married, so Shirasawa was shocked that her senpai was. And she also said that the one who called was related to the marriage interview, and she also said that they had already settled on the marriage. So Shirasawa knew that her senpai was the chairman of the hospital, so she didn't have any choice but to marry him, but if that rumor was true, he still tried to confront her senpai to confirm her feelings for him. So her senpai asked him what the matter was with you, so Shirasawa started to talk, saying that he apologized if this all of a sudden happened, and he also didn't prepare any ring for her or something else, but he told her senpai to marry her. God damn. When he told her that her senpai was very shocked and asked him if he was serious about that, Shirasawa replied yes, but she said that he already knew that she was a member of the Amagi household, so her family would choose her husband. So she said that her feeling was no matter, but Shirasawa shouted that matter, so she was surprised when Shirasawa said those words. Oh my god! Wow! So Shirasawa repeats what he said to her senpai, saying that he loves him, so he asks her senpai, how do you feel about me? And that will be the end of this part 3 of this video, so guys, stay tuned for part 4 of this off-brand anime, and that will be the last of this off-brand anime. With that said, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.